Hey, it's Shelf Sewing September! sewing from scratch. I am Kate and this is where I teach you everything I know about sewing and we learn more together along the way. Today I am coming to you to let you know that Shelf Sewing September is just around the corner. If you've never heard of this before, it is the fun Instagram challenge that I have created where we use items from our stash to reduce our environmental footprint, sew with intention, and learn new skills. This is a month long buying hiatus where we connect with each other, use hashtags to enter the giveaways. I'll have prompts for you every few days and it runs from September 1st to September 30th. You do need to be following me over on Instagram so I will be sure to leave all of that information down below so you can find out more. I'm also going to link in the description box my video from last year explaining about shelf sewing September. But before you check that out, let me tell you who's sponsoring giveaway prizes this year. For 2021, I really wanted to focus on Canadian designers. I made a video a little while back showcasing all of the wonderful independent pattern makers we have in this country, so I thought it would be a great idea to ask some of them for prizes. I put it out to you as a community on my Instagram which designers you would like to see prizes from, and you delivered. So here's what we got. The four prize sponsors for Shelf Sewing September 2021 are Helen's Closet, Closet Core Patterns, Thread Theory, and Buttons and Bibs. So thank you so much for everybody who commented letting me know that's who you were looking for in terms of patterns. It really helped to narrow down my search and my focus and bring you exactly what you want. So now, if you're concerned and worried, how am I gonna get through 30 days without buying fabric? Hang on, I'm sure I'm sure almost all of you have an ample fabric supply that you can pull from, patterns, notions, etc. I'm sure there's things you've been looking at making for eons and haven't gotten to it. I'm sure there's fabric in your stash from when you first started sewing that you haven't got to. But I'm gonna give you a little bit of a list here to on things to motivate you and kind of keep you going to stop buying fabric for the month of September and maybe even further. The first thing I'm going to mention is organize your stash. Go through all your fabric, feel them, snuggle with them, connect to them, whatever. Just be inspired, take your time, fold them nicely, give them the care and attention that you had in mind when you purchased those pieces. Fall in love with them all over again, get inspired, plan your next few makes. I think you'll find that going through your fabric stash and maybe even displaying some pieces is going to give you the boost you need to make up those items that you've been planning to do for so long. Another idea is scrap bust. Get out your scrap pile. I have a scrap pile. It's overflowing. It's actually, I had to take it to the garage. There's too much. Get rid of some of that. Why? Get rid of it, donate it, go find a text textile recycling program, make up dog beds and donate them to the shelters, make a poof, make some underwear, make something for your kids, do some patchwork. Scraps have a lot of uses and I'm sure you can find something that will work for you or just clear them out and get them off your mind. Start a large project. Make a backpack, make a coat, make something that you've always wanted to make but just haven't felt like you had the time. Maybe it's jeans, something that needs a little bit more tailoring. Take your time, invest in yourself, invest in your self-care, in your wardrobe, in this craft that you own. Take your time. Do a de-stash. When you're going through all your fabrics, if there's something that you don't love or that's not serving you or you don't know what the heck you bought it for or what you're going to do with it, get rid of it. You might even make a little bit of extra cash. Wouldn't that be something? You'll be net positive on your fabric buying for the month of September. What about sewing for someone else? It always makes me feel good. Maybe start your Christmas sewing. Make a plan. Go through your fabrics again and see which ones you want to give away, which ones you want somebody else to wear because you know it'll suit them wonderfully. It doesn't have to be someone out in the 
in the universe, it can be someone in your own home. Maybe it's your kids or your husband or your partner or your dog or your cat or your mom. You know, it doesn't have to be donation style things. It doesn't have to be somebody who's in need, but it can be. And I think that's beautiful. How many of you participated in the Make Nine Challenge this year? I know I am not as far along as I would like to be on that, so that's something I'm gonna be focusing on. If you didn't, I'm sure there's still things on your list that you haven't gotten around to, so why not take this time to do that? Why not do some home decor? I think we probably all also have things on our lists like curtains, pillows, uh, you know, little baskets, a poof, blankets, anything like that. Do some home decor sewing, why not? Try take a break from dressmaking and use up some of those fabrics in your stash that are perfect for around your house. Try a new skill, one of my favorite, favorite things on this list, try a new skill. Do something you've never done before. Maybe slow down and do some hand sewing. Maybe it's putting in a button, maybe it's a zipper, maybe it's something more advanced like tailoring or uh, I don't know, visible mending or you know something really neat that you just have always looked at and admired but thought, oh, I don't have the time for this. Now you do, do it. What about just rest? Just take a break, reset, sit in your sewing room and imagine all the things that you've created here. Think about all the things that are yet to come. All the ways that this art has helped your mental health. All the ways that we've gotten some frustrations out or showed someone we love them. Just reset. Get back to your reasoning of why you sew. You can upcycle, you can alter, get to that mending pile, get to that alterations pile. Take something from your closet that wasn't working anymore. I just did a whole video on this, I will link that below. Take those pieces and love them again. And lastly, give some love to your sewing space. Rearrange, get some new storage solutions, get rid of some storage solutions, put up a picture. Maybe it's a stereo. Maybe it's cleaning up your patterns on your computer or refolding the ones in your drawer. Putting them all in bags. Putting up some cute little kitschy decor. Make it a space that you want to be in. Maybe it's just giving it a tidy and cleaning your machines. So I hope those ideas were helpful for you and I hope you can get through the month without buying. You, more importantly, just using things from our stash so that we're not continually building our stash. You know, there's really no reason to have all this stuff on hand. I know, I know I'm gonna get some backlash for that, but it's true. Yes, I am a minimalist, but I think, I really don't think anybody needs these giant fabric stashes. I think a lot of it stems from fear of missing out. And I talk about that more in last year's Shelf Sewing September intro video. So now's the time. Head on down to that description box and check it out. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Now go check out that video, and good luck.